Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I just first off want to say thank you for the 1,000 subscribers that I have on my channel now. 1,000 people believed in my channel and I appreciate it so much. So I'm going to go ahead and post the winner of that giveaway on this video in the comment section. And I'm just going to pick somebody off of my 500 subscriber video that left a comment. So I'm just going to pick from that and then I'm going to go ahead and maybe do another video about my upcoming giveaway since I, I'm probably going to do like 1500 So my next 500 people, I'm going to give another whole set away. So I know I have a Jaclyn Hill palette and I think I have a ColourPop Yes Please palette. And so I'm going to look through and see what I got. But anyway, talking today, we're going to do the Tortoise Pro Palette. I've had this for a while and I did a look from it when I had my old camera. So like the quality on it sucks. But this is what the palette looks like. There are four matte shades on and then like on the end down here, there is a shimmer shade that complements that line. So what I'm going to do is do different looks from each line. And I'm starting off today with the last line. Because so each line is like complementary of each other. So you don't have to guess what shades. And then you don't have to pick a cool tone and then accidentally pick a warm tone. And it just... It's done already for you, and that's what I like about it because it makes it so much easier. So this is the look I created, and if you want to see how I got it, then just go ahead and keep watching. Okay, I'm going in with the shade Indie. This is the lightest shade, and I'm going to work my way from lightest to darkest. And I'm just putting that on with the fluffy brushes, the Sigma E40, and just blending that lightly right over the crease. And then I'm going in with the MAC 217, and I'm taking the shade Bold, and I'm just kind of rounding that off and just keeping that on the outside corner. And then I'm going in with the shade Edgy. And that's on a little bit more tapered brush. That's a Zoeva 231. And it's putting that on the outer third of the eye and just kind of working it into the crease. And I'm looking straight forward so I can make sure that I'm placing it where I want it to be. And like you can kind of see it when my eyes open. You know what I'm saying? And so that's why I'm kind of blending it upward. Then I'm taking the Real Techniques brush, um, that's the shading brush, and putting the shade Punk right on the outer edge just to kind of give it a little bit of a smoky effect and just to kind of darken the outside of the eye. It just gives it an overall like smoky look and I just like that look if you're going to be dramatic. And so I just take that and just keep uh, kind of packing it down so it gets darker. And then anytime I place darker shades, I always go back in with the same brush that I used to apply the last shade and just kind of blend it all together. And now I'm going in with the shade Trendy and I'm just taking a flat shader brush. This is the MAC 242 and I'm just patting that in and just doing the whole lid. Now I'm going in with the MAC Feline Pencil and just lining my upper and lower lash line. That it does close off the eye a little bit if you do both uh, top and bottom, but I want it to be a little bit more closed off on this one so it'll give it more of like a cat eye look. Now I'm taking, I'm going back in with the shade Punk and just like smoking that out just on the outside of the eye. And then I'm going to go back in with the shade Edgy on a different pencil brush and keep smoking it out, but I just wanted it to be a little bit lighter on the inner corner. And then I'm just going to pop on some mascara and that's my final look. Alright guys, so this is my final look. I hope you like it. Don't forget to leave me a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.